but I thought it was kind of cool. The click of a collar, which I'm hoping that every single dog owner already has, it is ginormous. There's literally like 30 things. Hello and happy Christmas week. I cannot believe Christmas is this week, <laughs> truthfully. It has honestly snuck up on me and I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I have done absolutely no Christmas shopping yet, other than for Freya. <laughs> because I can't stop buying her things. But like people in my life, they're so hard to buy for, but Freya, so easy. And that actually fits very well with today's video because I'm gonna be talking about perfect gift ideas for the dog mom, dog dad, or dog in your life. And all of these items are either on my Christmas list or things I already own that I absolutely love that I wanna share with you guys. If you're new here, my name is Marissa Nicole and I have an 11 month old Australian Shepherd puppy named Freya. She is the light of my life. And as I already said, I just, actually cannot stop buying things for her. <laughs> so I have a bit of a problem, but I always have great recommendations for you guys in like all of my vlogs or pup dates, which I do every single month. So if you like those kinds of videos, I do monthly pup date videos as well as like training videos or recommendation videos or trying out things that I see on my Instagram ads, whatever. If you have a dog in your life, subscribe down below. You can also follow me over on Instagram because of course we're doing a Christmas advent calendar with Freya every morning and it's super freaking cute, but also you'll see tons of Freya content over there. Like I said, all of my Christmas shopping for Freya is already done, but I was not the first person to buy something for Freya for Christmas. And that brings me to today's video sponsor, which is Enjoya. I actually found out about this shop through Rachel Fusaro, which is another like dog Instagram YouTuber person. If you're not following her or subscribed to her, you definitely should. I like binge watched all of her videos before I got Freya just for like training tips and everything. So I absolutely love her. But I found out about Enjoya through Rachel and literally fell in love. They have the cutest snuffle mats and like snuffle toys and everything. And if you guys know Freya, she eats from a snuffle mat every single day since she was like three months months old. They're a great enrichment tool and I highly suggest them for literally everybody, but Enjoya has the cutest snuffle mats around and they actually sent Freya a Christmas box, guys. Like it had the cutest little note, like to Freya. And I was just completely obsessed with everything inside of it. And we're gonna start there today on my long list. There's literally like 30 things on today's list and I'm gonna walk through all of my favorite items or things on my Christmas list that would be perfect Christmas gifts. The main thing in Freya's Christmas box, which is the main thing that Enjoya is known for, is their snuffle mats. It is ginormous. Enormous, and they have so many little nooks and crannies that you can put food into, so many little flaps. All of this felt is so soft, so it's not like too rough on their noses, which I love. But there's parts that you can hide underneath, but it also goes like completely through. There's little circles that you can hide tiny little treats in here. We have like a thicker snuffle mat area, but then also like a really tight snuffle mat area if you wanna hide stuff like really deep in there to really like forage for food. We have little cylinders that you can stuff food into and then like close up so they have to kind of open. Just so many different possibilities with this snuffle mat. I'm completely in love. Freya lives and breathes and eats out of these things every single day. The back of the snuffle mat has this like rubbery texture so that way it doesn't slide too much on the floor, which I really love because we have hardwood in our living room, which is where Freya eats from. If you've been watching the vlogs, you know that I've been looking for a new snuffle mat. So this literally came just in time. Highly, highly, highly recommend. This along with literally everything that I talk about today will be linked down below. But along with Freya's Christmas gift, they wanted to give you guys a Christmas gift. So you guys can use code Freya 12 for 12% 12 off of your order on enjoya.com. And I highly suggest getting a cute little snuffle mat. And I have other fun things that I'll show you in a little bit. But I also have her tried and true snuffle mat, which I got from Amazon that Freya's been eating out of since literally day one. It used to be so huge with her being like, I don't know, 12 weeks old. And now this is so tiny for her because she's 11 months old. I literally just throw it in the washer and the dryer to clean it whenever it gets kind of like grimy, you know? And being used twice a day for 10 months, the quality is quite amazing. Similar to snuffle mats, if Freya is not eating from that or being trained, I try to give her some sort of like a food puzzle to eat out of because mental enrichment is so important, especially for a working breed like Australian Shepherds, which Freya is. This is one that we have had again since day one from Amazon. It's missing a little bone. I think it's in the cabinet somewhere, but this one's great because the bones come out so you can hide food underneath there. Once you take the bones out, like this one is, these red pieces move side to side so you can hide treats in there, but they also open so you hide treats in here. There's so many different places to put the treats and watching her do this is the cutest thing ever, especially when she was little and she was like learning how it all works and seeing her open it. I don't know, it was like a proud mom moment. Highly recommend any kind of like food puzzle, but we've absolutely loved this one. I think it's like a good neutral size, not too big, not too small. But on the same token, Enjoya has snuffle toys. So they have the giant snuffle mats and everything, but this is like a snuffle toy, a food puzzle of sorts, which I love. This one allows her to like use her nose to kind of open things and slide things around. But this one works in a different way, which will stimulate her in new ways that she's not used to 
too with this one. But all these carrots come out of these little cylinders. So you can stuff food inside and then put the carrots on top. And starting out, you can have the carrots like out a little bit while your dog figures it out. And once they pull it out, they notice that there's treats. But then you can like really stuff it in there where they have to like pull it out. And the carrots are squeakers, so they double as a little toy. And another added level of snuffleness. On each of the carrots, there's these little flaps that you can actually put little treats inside down here in like the corners to make it just a little bit harder if you wanted to. Another food puzzle of sorts, which is a really common one that you guys probably already know about, but that's a slow feeder. We're actually new to the slow feeder game. I got two of them within the last month or two, but usually I will fill this with kibble and then I'll add some like bone broth or maybe chicken broth and then some salmon oil or any kind of other supplement, probiotic, whatever you wanna add to it. You you can add carrots, you can add bananas, you can add literally like wet food, whatever you wanna do. But then I always fill it up just a little bit with water for Freya's kibble and then I'll freeze it for a little bit or overnight because one, it's mental enrichment, it's stimulation, but also they have to lick it out, which is just a self-soothing thing for dogs to do. All of those things are what I use for Freya's like meals, so breakfast and dinner. But if you wanna give your dogs like treats throughout the day or you give them treats when they're in their playpen or crate or something like that, I do have some like tools or toys and stuff like that that I love to use for treats. So Freya has two different kinds of like treat dispensing balls and there's tons of them online but I bought this one which actually came in a pack of two from Amazon and it's just a little rubber ball but it has teeth so that way you can kind of open this up put treats in here or kibble and then it kind of holds on to it and your dog kind of has to like gnaw through it. Freya loved using this when she was like a puppy puppy and itty bitty she still uses it. Another ball that we have is a Kong ball where you put the treats inside of it and while Freya like rolls it around treats will fall out randomly. That one's also a huge hit. We used to feed her her full meals when she was a puppy in that ball just to like stimulate her and let her do things. I've gotten a lot of comments from you guys on tips to make like bath time more enjoyable. And the thing that saves us for bath time is this right here. And this is a licky mat. It has suction cups on the back of it and little like grooves on the front of it, which looks like bones. I got this in a pack of two off of Amazon as well. If you put some peanut butter on it and slap it to the shower, it sticks there and they can sit there and lick it while you give them a bath. So if your dog or you know someone's dog that hates baths, try getting them this. I swear it'll help or put whatever your dog likes. Like Freya loves peanut butter, but you could put like wet dog food on here. You could put Greek yogurt. You could put mashed up bananas. You could put pumpkin puree. You could put whatever you want on here. You could freeze it. You could not freeze it. Overall, this has been such a huge help for bath times. Kind of like a Kong, which I also have on this list, which I'm hoping that every single dog owner already has. But if not, they need a Kong in their life. And we do the same thing. We put peanut butter in here. We will freeze it to make it last longer. But they're also just great chew toys. They're very, very durable. So after she gets all the peanut butter out of it, she'll usually use it as like a toy and she'll carry it around the house. So if you do not already have one, which I don't know of any dog parent that doesn't already, you need one. Something similar that probably not every dog parent owns is a West Paw. Before getting Freya, I was very aware of Kongs, but I wasn't aware of these until I started seeing a lot of like dog moms and dog parents feeding meals in this. They, it's kind of like a Kong, but it just has a more open top and these little flexible teeth in here. So you could put treats in here. They can kind of chew them out. It can be used kind of like this ball. It could be used as a Kong. Like you can just put peanut butter in here and they can lick it out. But people really use this for like really enriching meal times. We've done the same thing that we used to do with this, with this, but it doesn't fit her full serving for breakfast or dinner or anything. So it would be used more as a treat, like a half a cup of food and some water or bone broth and freeze it. And she'd be at this for hours. This can fit her full servings and everything. But there's a lot of cool like West Paul recipes that I've been dying to try with Freya. And these things are really freaking handy. Now this next item I don't actually have, but it is something on my own like dog mom Christmas list. So I wanted to add it here, which is just interactive food games for dogs like kind of on the same line of all of these things but they're either like electronic where you have to like press the button and the food comes out below or there's actually some where the dog has to go press a button somewhere else that will dispense food somewhere else really enriching like interactive games for the dogs that are more electronic that's stuff that I really want because I have a lot of the other things as you can tell I'll link some of the ones that are on my Christmas list down below I feel like I've been talking about food for a while but we're not done yet Freya is very food motivated she would do anything for a treat. So I have a lot of things regarding this. One being my absolute favorite treat pouch. It is like the best thing I've ever bought. So let me just walk you through it. This treat pouch is a very good size. I can fit like two, three cups of food in here, but it has a little mesh bag on the front, which I'll use to put like my wallet or something in when I'm on walks with her. And then there's a zipper pouch on the front that I'll usually put my phone into. But the actual main part of the bag actually has this nylon material that's really easily cleanable. It can like come out so you can make sure that like it's empty and you can really wash it out. But this is 
where I'll put all of her treats. And then on the back side, there's a zipper here because you can put in a roll of poo bags here because there's like a poo bag dispenser on the back, which is great because it's discreet since it's on the back. And there's actually a few ways that you can wear this bag. I usually wear it as a crossbody because that's how I like to wear these things. But there's actually a little clip on the back if you're wanting to just clip it to your pants or I don't know, your jacket or wherever you would want to clip it to. But there's actually little loops here like you'd find on like your pant loops and everything because it actually comes with another strap that'll loop through here that you can wear as like a fanny pack. So if you don't want to wear it around your body, but you want it to be like close to you, but you don't want to clip it, you can wear it that way too. I think it's a great size for treats and also holding your personal belongings. Like not too much. It's not like a purse by any means, but it's enough to get me by on the walks and when we go to the dog park and stuff. Y'all have been obsessed with this next thing I'm going to talk about. So I had to throw it in here, but this is Freya's water bottle. It's a huge canteen. And what's really cool about this canteen is that there's a top lid here that you can of course take off, duh. But the bottom here also comes off and you get a little bowl. The purpose of this is so that you can also drink out of here and your dog and you're not like mixing or like backwashing in a way, like your dog isn't backwashing because the top can come off, I can drink out of it, pour it in here for Freya to drink out of, which I think is great. But this bottle is actually something that Griffin's mom made me, but she does have on her Etsy. So I will link her Etsy shop down below because this is where you can get this. She like customized it for us with this little Dublin dog Daria because we used to live in Dublin. But the ones on her Etsy do not have this on here, but I freaking love this. Now, if you have a puppy or a food motivated dog like myself. Training is really easy because they will train easily with treats and stuff. However, when you're training recall, it's really great to have some high value rewards or high value treats. One of Freya's high value reward is literally peanut butter, but it's hard to like bring that out into the world with like a can of peanut butter and I'm just like slapping knives around. You can't really do that. So I ended up getting these little reusable, they're like applesauce containers. They're for babies because they Ziploc on the bottom so you can open this up and fill them up. They have like a nice little fill line so you don't over fill them. You can also write on them if you want to know what's inside. And then you would take the top off and like squeeze it and they can like lick out of it like a little squeezy pouch. So I fill this with peanut butter. So that way when we're working recall or if we're just out in the world and I need some like high value reward for her, I have it. Because the ones that I got are on Amazon, but they come in like a pack of 10. So if you have a lot of dog people in your life that you want to buy gifts for, buy the pack of 10 and then like give two to each person. A great little stocking stuffer for your dog is of course their favorite treats. And Freya loves bully sticks. And I added this to my Christmas list because bully sticks are expensive. So if you want to get the dog parent in your life a gift, get them a bully stick or a few of them. So if someone were to buy Freya like five bully sticks, I would be eternally grateful because that's like a month worth of bully sticks. And I saved like 40 bucks. We're finally done with all of the food related things. And we're actually going to get into like apparel or, you know, like collars, leashes and that kind of stuff, because I have some favorites that I want to share with you. The first being my absolute favorite collar of all time. Like if Freya had to wear the same collar or the same collar brand for the rest of her life and every dog that I've ever had after her, it would be this one. These are from Cheerful Hound, which is actually a small local business here in Columbus, Ohio. I absolutely love her. I found her at a farmer's market one time and literally fell in love ever since. This was the first collar I ever bought from her. This is like Freya's go-to collar that she's been wearing since she was like three months old. And it is so durable. You guys have seen it get so muddy, so dirty, and I just throw it in the washer. It comes out great. The quality is like superb. I talk about this all the time. I probably sound like a crazy lady, but like the click of a collar, you can tell a lot by that. It's so sturdy. I just love everything about her, this brand, their collars, their bandanas. I actually have a few of those too. Such great quality from this little local small business. I'm in love. And I know that I said that she's a local small business here, but she does have a website and she actually does free shipping for all of my like non Columbus, Ohio people because every single one of you guys needs a collar from her. I actually have a third one, but Frey is wearing it right now at doggy daycare. So cannot show you that, but I have three of her collars and I think three or four of her bandanas and I will buy Buy so many more. If your dog doesn't really wear collars and instead they wear harnesses, I would highly recommend getting the Fenrir harness because this thing is just such high quality, so durable. Like the padding is insane. It feels so soft and so comfortable for the dog. But I love that there's three connecting points on here because the pressure is really like distributed well on the body. Again, those clasps, they feel so secure. On the back, there's actually two handles. So there's one up front where this Fenrir is, and then there's another one right here. So if you ever needed to like pick up your dog, this helps a ton. Like, especially if you're going hiking, you need to pick them over like trees or something. Very like utilitarian. And I feel like this just makes Freya look like a badass or like she can really like do some shit. And if you didn't know, Fenrir is also such a great resource for training. I actually bought the Fenrir Perfect Puppy course to help train Freya and it is a godsend. I cannot recommend it enough. 10 out of 10, like a hundred out of 10. 
again. If your dog is really outdoorsy, I, you know, love this harness, but I would also really recommend any of Wilder Dog's products. But we bought this leash for Freya literally before we even got her because I knew that I would want this to be like our hiking leash because it's made out of climbing rope. It's very, very durable. It has this gigantic carabiner clip. And then this piece actually screws up so that the carabiner locks. So there's like no way of her getting out of this thing or it like breaking or anything like that, which I really love. And of course, with this being like climbing rope, it's very sturdy. Again, she's not breaking this. Nothing is coming apart from this leash. It's very high quality and I just love it. Along with literally everything on Wilder Dog's website, it's a very outdoorsy website. So if you need like traveling pouches, like food bowls for your dog, they even have like sleeping bags for your dog. Just so many cute things. I love that website. But this was the first purchase that I made from them and it probably won't be the last. And then I have another leash, more of like a daily leash that I have fallen in love with. It's a new one for me. And this is the wild one leash. I love the way this feels in my hand because it's one of those like rubber or like silicone. I honestly don't know what it's made out of. I just love it. I love it. It's very sleek. It's very modern, but I got the little matching poo bag holder and the whole nine yards. It's an amazing leash and it has a different clasp than regular leashes, which I'm a fan of, but there's a lot of different ways that you can wear this because it doesn't have like a normal handle, but you can make one because it has a D ring at the top, but you can also just hold it like a leather leash where there's not an actual handle, but around your thumb, you can clip it down to the bottom D ring. If you're wanting it to be kind of like a shorter leash and because it's rubber or silicone or whatever, it's really easy to clean and Freya loves to get muddy because she loves to jump in mud puddles or any puddle or just mud at the dog park when we're at walks. So if it gets dirty, it's really easy to clean, which I need for a dirty puppy. Now let's say you or like the dog parent in your life already have all of those like collars, leashes, whatever. Might I recommend a kind of cool collar because this one's not like needed, but I thought it was kind of cool. These two are from Sniff and Bark, which I found on Instagram. But what's cool about them because I like to have dog tags on every one of my collars. So that way I don't have to like take them off and switch them to go. I can just grab a collar and go. But what's really cool about these collars is that they have free engraving. Now it's hard for me to show you because I don't want to show you my information. But as you can see, her name is engraved on there. It says Freya and then the rest of her information is below it. And I just thought that was a cool thing. So this doesn't have to be your dog's like forever collar or their everyday collar. But if the dog parent in your life already has all of those things, like having a fun one could just be like a fun customized gift for them. Cause I think it's kind of cool to have Freya's name like engraved on a collar. Another fun thing for them that definitely isn't a necessity, especially if you have like a treat pouch, but it's kind of cool to have and it makes you feel really cool. At least me is a dog walking bag. I have been raving about this one for like two months because I'm obsessed with it. So of course I have to add it to this video. This little dog bag gives me Prada bag vibes. If you know what I mean, because it has this little like section added to it. It's like another bag aside from this bag. And I just think it's so cute. You can change out these straps. I actually have another one, but I just have the plain black one on here because it literally just looks like a purse. Like it doesn't look like a dog purse. It just looks like a purse. But little do people know that I have dog treats in here and it has a poo bag dispenser on the side. But on the same token as the wild one leash, this is made from like a really good nylon-y kind of material. So it's really easy to clean. So if I take this to a dog park and like a muddy dog or Freya jumps on me and gets like a mud paw on here, like it's really easy to clean off. But the brand is Coco Pup London. And I actually found this brand through an Instagram ad. So I risked it to buy it because I thought it was really freaking cute. Highly recommend. Another bag that I would recommend, which would be more of a nicer looking bag for the dog parent in your life would be the wild one bag, which matches the leash that I have because this one is like regular cloth. So if a muddy dog did jump on you, it's gonna be really hard to clean. But I do like it for that reason. Like I wore it out in Freya's matching set to the farmer's market and we looked really freaking cute. Okay, so I like it for that reason. Like if you're trying to look cute or like match your dog or even if you're not trying to match your dog, I still really like the bag, but it is a nice little like gift for a bag because it's cute. Another item that is on my Christmas list, I actually found from like a TikToker, like a dog TikToker, which are electric hand warmers, which might sound crazy, but when you're walking your dog in the snow or you're trying to play fetch with them or whatever, I can see them coming in handy because I don't think I'll ever use like the pouch hand warmers because those are very like you use them and they're done kind of thing. So you have to keep buying them all the time. But the electric hand warmer, it literally just charges up and then you can keep it in your pockets and you don't have to wear gloves all the time, especially if you are trying to do something where you can't wear gloves. But if you just stick your hands in your pockets, warm them up real quick, bring them out. If you're walking your dog with your hand out, you know, you're keeping this hand warm and then you can switch kind of thing. So I think that's really smart. And ever since I saw the TikTok about it, I was like, yep, going on my Christmas list. <laughs> How many dog toys is too many dog toys? The limit, it does not exist. So if you need a gift idea, dog toys, for sure. And Joya sent over two of their rope toys in Freya's little Christmas box, which are Christmas colors, which is really freaking cute. And I need to mention, you guys can actually order the Christmas box. Like they have those to order and like send to someone in your life, which has a whole bunch of goodies inside, which is what they sent me. I think that would be so perfect. But in my Christmas box, I got these two little 
little rope toys. Freya already has one that's shaped like this that she loves to play tug with because she'll hold this end or this end and then I'll be able to hold the other end and it's really easy to play tug with. I like these kind of rope toys but obviously any toy for your dog is amazing and something that we did with Freya for the first six months of having her we actually signed up for BarkBox. So if your friend doesn't already have a BarkBox subscription you can like get them a month of BarkBox like send it to them because it comes with like three or four toys, two or three bags of treats, some chews. Like it's really cool because you can customize it and it has really cool themes. Like we got the Space Jam box, we had like a breakfast box and it was really cool to have for the first six months of Freya's life because we had treats every month and the toys grew with her so they started out really small and then they got really big so you can choose the size and everything. I want to say it's like 20 bucks a month if that, which is cheaper than getting like two or three bags of treats and three or four toys from you know PetSmart or something. Now this item is not a toy but it's one of Freya's favorite things to like chew on and that is a Benabone. This one is raggedy because she chews on it constantly. But she has four of these things. She has one in my car. She has one in Griffin's car. She has like two inside the house here. And they're all different shapes. And they're her favorite thing to just like go to town on forever. I recommended these to you guys in like a previous video. And I got so many DMs of y'all just being like, this is the best thing I ever bought for my dog because they will spend like an hour chewing on it at a time. Now my last few items here are just like givens for the dog parent in your life. If you just go to Etsy and search up like dog mom apparel or dog dad apparel, like literally anything from there is something that a dog mom or dog dad would love like a custom shirt I have one for Freya are you surprised it has her face doodled on it it says Freya I actually have a white one just like it too and it's super freaking cute and I got this from an Etsy shop I'll link their shop down below of course but it's just like fun to have like dog mom apparel and stuff I think it's a 10 out of 10 gift and it's relatively easy because it doesn't have to be like customized or you don't have to know the dog that well or like if they're a chewer or whatever like you could just get a dog mom sweatshirt on the same token if it's not a apparel you can also get just like dog mom stuff I have this Starbucks cup that has dog mom on it it even has my name on the back paw prints all over it like it's freaking cute so like anything that says dog mom or dog dad guaranteed good gift and last but not least if this is like a last minute gift idea you could always get them a gift card to a pet store that they go to whether it's PetSmart pet people mutts and co like whatever because obviously dog parents always need to buy food or whatever if you don't know what kind of food they eat just get them a gift card it will be used <laughs> but I hope this list of dog gift gift ideas was helpful for you guys. It's literally filled with all of my favorites or again things that I'm asking for for Christmas. Everything will be linked down below. I'll also have my Amazon shop linked down below which has even more stuff that I've gotten for Freya. Like everything that I've gotten for Freya from Amazon is in that shop but of course these are like my top hits for like gift ideas. And I want to say thank you again to Enjoya for sponsoring today's video and sending Freya the cutest Christmas gift ever. She got like her first little PR box which is adorable. <laughs> Their website will be linked down below. Their snuffle mat, the toys, the snuffle toy itself. All of it will be linked down below and you can use code Freya12 for 12% off of your order because these snuffle mats are really cute. Before you go, I want you to comment down below and let me know if your dog opens their own gifts on Christmas. This will be Freya's first Christmas, so I want to wrap some of them and see what she does and see if she's able to open them. So we will see, but let me know if your dog actually unwraps their own gifts on Christmas because I think that's so freaking cute. If you enjoyed today's video and you thought it was helpful, don't forget to subscribe down below because I do, again, pup date videos every month, training videos, tons of dog product recommendations because I cannot be stopped when it comes to buying things for Freya. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram for more content over there. I love you guys so much, more than you'll ever know, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!